Now, like the magnet's just sitting here, so in a minute that should go over the whole pipe over here, and then that should go low. And then that will, like, what I'm trying to do is get the last time from when the magnet's not front of the center and when it is, and then subtract them from each other and give you the period of rotation. And that ideally is then input it into the motor and change accordingly. So if it's like if it's running too slow, it's keeping motor up, if it's running too fast, slow it down a little bit. This is looking like a bond going here. So you can see the patch is moving across the road. The only thing we did, yeah, the gears are slipping a little bit. Um, we had washers in, but they weren't. Well, the washer, there was the direct, the original effect. That's a strong argument. Well, okay, exactly. That's where the sun is. <laughs> if, this, if this was aligned to north to start yeah. with, then that is where the sun is. The sun's up there from there. It says so. You can actually see on the, on the LCD, it tells you what you're looking at. Yeah. So that'll track it. Yeah, around the horizon, the elevation servo certainly is accurate to the plus or minus quarter of a degree when it's calibrated properly. But because of the mechanical uh, issues with the shaft and the slight buckle nature of it, it gets less and less accurate as you sweep out on the arc. So at the moment we're tracking the sun. It's called Sol. If anybody cares to see the screen, uh, it says Sol. Uh, <laughs> it should be more or less there. Elevation minus is north. Um, Anything else people would like to track? Any ideas? Any objects? Planet? Don't say Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you speak to us? If you put the headphones yeah, on, you, on, on, you can hear it. So if anybody wants to put the headphones on, on, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a uh, speaker? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll unplug this so you can. I don't know if there's. Yeah. You are now tracking the sun. You're now tracking the motion this way. I'm not sure the Arduino is the best way to do it. Possibly a faster computer. 
Um, but the, the code, the way the code works at the moment, it asks for each thing and updates each thing. So it's not, it's not sequentially. The control of a mission which is quantized. It's that you've got communication delays. Yes, that is exactly. So it has, to, it has to ask for the data, to receive it, wait until it receives the data, process that to move that. Then it asks for the next piece of data, process it, it you moves are now it. Tracking the ISS. Um, so yeah, there are delays in that. <laughs> <laughs>